Okay, so this is a typical first um, question in the mechanics section of the exam. Uh, particle equilibrium problem. So we've got a couple of forces. A couple of forces here applied to the link and they're restrained by the two cables. And as we can see over here, we need to determine the force in each of the cables. So a similar sort of thing that they've done um, in the quizzes. First thing we need to do is to draw a free body diagram. So if we go to, um, I've just repeated the, the picture up there so we can refer to it. So the first thing we'll do is to draw a particle representing um, or a ring representing the point that we're analysing. Done that. And then we can start to add in our forces. Okay, so once we've got our particle, we can then start to draw in our, uh, our forces. So we're going to have uh, the horizontal force across here, something like that, and acting to the left. And we've got another force acting up here at 55 degrees. So you don't have to use your protractor, it doesn't have to be accurate, it just has to be somewhere around what it is so it looks about right. All right. So that's acting up there and we can put on our values. So they're 700 newtons and this one over here is 200 newtons. Okay. Then we need to know what our forces in the cables are, so we can start by just putting in the force along the line of action of the cable, so something like that, and that one's 48 degrees, so up there, and then we've got another one acting down here at 30 degrees. Okay, so we can put those in, and those cables are going to be in tension, okay, so they're restricting or restraining those forces that are pulling across to the left and upwards. So they're going to be probably in tension. So we can put those arrow overheads on to indicate the sense. And then we need to put on some names for those forces. All right, so I like to use F for force. So we've got a force there and it's cable BC. So we'll call that F BC. And this one we'll call F B D. Okay, let's put on our angles here just for reference. So we've got an angle in here of fifty-five degrees. And we've got an angle in here of 30 degrees and an angle in here of 48 degrees. And we can label the particle that we're analysing, just put in there particle D. So now that we've got our free body diagram, from that we can start to write our equations of equilibrium. Okay, so first of all we can do some of the forces in the x direction or some of the forces in the y direction equal zero. In this case doesn't really matter too much which we choose. Let's take uh, some of the forces in the vertical direction. So some of the, vertical, some of the forces in the y direction equal zero and indicate upwards as positive. And then once we've done that, we can then start to write the equation. So we've got our force up here. 
of 200 newtons, so we need that vertical component. So that will be 200 sine 55. Okay, and we've got also the vertical component of our force FBC. Okay, so FBC cos 48 degrees. Okay, so you need to take note of where the angle is. Okay, whether it's uh, the adjacent side that you want or the opposite side. And we've also got the vertical component of FBD. Okay, so that's negative because he's acting in the negative y direction. So FBD sine 30 and that's all equal to zero. Okay, so um, just been pointed out that up here where I wrote uh, B, so I wrote um, over here I wrote D, it's actually B, so let me fix that. All right, so now what it will do is to uh, do some maths and rearrange the equation. And so I'll stop the recording while I do that. Okay, so just doing the maths, we've now got um, an equation that has FBC and FBD in it. Next write our equation of equilibrium for some of the forces in the x-direction. Okay, so we've got, again, some of the forces in the x-direction and indicated our positive sense. All equal to zero, we can then start to write out that equation. Okay, so we've got minus 700 and minus 200 sine 55. Okay, so minus 700 minus 200 cos 55 for our two loads. And then we've got our two unknown cable forces acting to the right. So there we're going to have plus the horizontal component of FBC. So that'll be FBC sine 48 degrees. plus FBD cos 30 all equal to zero. Okay, so if we again do the maths and make that equation a little bit easier to deal with, Okay, so FBC sine 48 will become 0.74311 FBC plus 0.8661. FBD equals 814.7. Okay, so let's call that equation one and we'll call this equation two. All right, we've got two equations, two unknowns. We now just need to solve that set of simultaneous equations for our two unknowns. Okay, so we can say substitute equation one into two or right, solve simultaneously however you like to do it. Or what's another way of doing it? Kramer's rule. So you should have learnt Kramer's rule. Whoopsie. OK, 
Okay, or use Kramer's rule that you learnt in maths. Okay, so according to um, calculations from the students in the class, uh, this is the final answers. And of course, we need to round this up. So our final answers will be... Okay, so rounding our final answers up to three significant figures, we get FBC is 280 newtons and FBD is... 702 newtons. Okay, so we've just done the calculations and confirmed that those are the correct answers.